Hey there awesome physics students. Let's do an example with acceleration down a ramp. It's a fairly common situation. Uh, your car is going down a hill or a roller coaster is going down an incline without friction and under that circumstance it has a particular acceleration. This is a nice illustration of how to decompose vectors into components and get a useful result. So we know that the acceleration should be uh, in free fall should be uh, down with uh, g, right? Negative g, down. What we want to do though, if the object is constrained to move along the ramp, what we want to do is find how much of that acceleration will be parallel to the ramp. So to do that, what we do is we set up a coordinate system that is slanted. So this is like cheating, what I talked about before. It's not cheating. It's just uh, being clever and, and, and uh, fitting your coordinate system to the situation at hand. So in that case, we want to find how much of this, how much of this acceleration points along the ramp or parallel to the ramp. And so we want to take our flashlight and shine it up this way and see how much of it is projected along the ramp. So to do that, what I'm going to do is set up a coordinate system here, and I'm going to uh, drop a perpendicular here. So this is perpendicular, and of course it's perpendicular there too. And I need to find some of these angles here. So uh, if, uh, let me just extend this down so you can see this. This creates a 90 degree angle. This angle here is complementary to this, and all three of these angles must add up to 180 degrees. This is 90, that leaves 90 between these two. That means this is 90 minus theta, okay? This angle then must, of course, that angle plus this angle 90 minus theta must total to 90 so this angle must be 90 minus this angle which is 90 minus theta okay so this is 90 minus 90 minus theta or if you work that out it's just theta so this angle here is just theta and if you're unsure about this think about um, what would happen if I shrunk this if I shrunk the angle theta, then this angle here would shrink down to zero, and this angle would open up and become 90 degrees. So that, that I think you can convince yourself that angle there is also theta. I want the part of the acceleration that is parallel to the, to the ramp, and so that's this part or this part. These two parts are the same thing. Um, I want Ax, and Ax is opposite of that angle theta. So that's going to be the total hypotenuse, which is A, times sine of theta. So the acceleration along the ramp, parallel to the ramp, is going to be the magnitude of the acceleration, which is G, times the sine of the angle here, which is theta. Okay, and in this particular case, the way I've drawn it, that's positive. But it, depending on which way you have the ramp, it'll be positive or negative. You have to think about the situation and make sure it's consistent with your coordinate system. So you may need, depending on how you do your coordinate system, you need, may need to have a negative in there by hand so it makes sense. Okay, so this is how you get uh, acceleration down the ramp. It's a nice application of vector decomposition. All right, bye.